So Mark 4, verse 30. It says, Then he said, To what shall we liken the kingdom of God? Or with what parable shall we picture it? It is like a mustard seed, which when it's sown on the ground, it is smaller than all the seeds on the earth. But when it is sown, it grows up and becomes greater than its all herbs and shoots out large branches so that the birds of the air may nest under its shade. So that's what happens. We have it inside of us and we just develop it. Just like when a baby's born, the, the baby already has everything it needs. It has the fingers, it has the arms, the legs, and then as the baby grows up, it develops. It develops into a full-grown human, right? Same thing with our faith. It just, we just develop it. How do we develop it? By being obedient. As we're being obedient, it grows up. Does it grow up for God, or does it grow up for us. It's for us. It's our believing ability. It's how much do we believe this word. That's how it's developed. The faith, the substance itself, it's already there. It's just getting developed by how much we believe, how much we choose to believe, and how much we choose to be obedient. And so, as we're being obedient... So, for example, when we start praying for healing, I start out, you know, like I start out with praying for people with, he with headaches. And I remember the first time that a person got healed with a headache, I was jumping down, up and down, really excited. Because that was, you know, like I've never seen that before. And so, like, I did. A person came up, said, I have a headache. I'm like, all right. In Jesus' name, be healed. Person checked, like, the headache is gone. I'm like, wow. It was really exciting, and it's still exciting to this day. No matter what the situation is, I get really excited every time somebody gets healed. It doesn't matter how small or how big. Why? Because somebody's getting set free. Somebody's headache is an oppression. Somebody sitting in a wheelchair is an oppression. Somebody's cancer is an oppression. All of it is oppression, and all of it has to go. All of it has to be destroyed. And so, but when I did, you know, when I prayed for a healing of the headache, next time a person came up with a headache, it was really easy. Like, oh, I already done that before. Come, come on up. I've seen it happen. And so as you start seeing things happen, and if you've seen it happen before, now it's easy to do it again. And you start growing in it. You start developing in it. Nothing changes on God's part, right? That electricity is at the switch. I'm growing to whether or not I believe to turn on the switch. That's the part that grows. We're developing and believing what God said. God's part is full. It's complete. It has everything it will ever possibly need, and it's already inside of us. It's at, the, it's at our switch. It's inside of us. God's power is inside of us, ready to do its job as we're turning on that switch by believing or not believing. 